Hello, my name is Michael and I make video games. To start off this month, I would like to talk about menus. Now the thing about menus is that menus suck. They're inherently boring. And I'm really sorry if you're a UI or UX designer and I just offended you with that statement. I've been putting off making Bannerman's menus for a while because I hate making menus. I find it really hard to get excited about things like laying out the actual options and doing things like key binding and audio sliders and resolution choices. But it needed to be done, so I did it this month. I've endeavoured to make Bannerman's menus as simple and quick to navigate as possible in an effort to get you in the game as quick as possible, while still maintaining all the function they need to have and being a little bit pretty as well. I've also completed a few more NPCs, uh, these are the friendly soldiers that you will find in the opening stages of the game. Uh, there are a few more portraits currently underway for different characters as well. And an updated interface for when you're speaking to an NPC, which is just a simple, decluttered, easy to follow uh, version compared to what was done in sort of previous iterations. And now the prologue area is mostly complete with the camp area more or less done. Uh, transitional the battlefield is suitably dramatic and atmospheric. And the battlefield itself is, um, well, it's something special. One of the biggest things I checked off the list this month was tracking down and fixing a particularly irritating and insidious rendering uh, bug which was giving me all sorts of grief for quite a while now. Uh, it was an issue uh, causing something that looked similar to screen tearing, which is where you get uh, artifacting from your monitor not being in sync with your PC and your graphics card. Uh, but my issue was not caused by uh, things being out of sync, even though it looked like it was. It took me a while to track down the actual issue and fix it, but the uh, actual solution involves how Bannerman was rendering onto different surfaces and so on and on and on and on and on and on and on. It's all very exciting. But the main thing is this. It is fixed. And as a bonus, uh, performance has also increased across the board as a result of what I've done to the sort of rendering pipeline, so that's cool. I've also spent some time recording and mixing more ambient sounds, music and sound effects that I hadn't got around to in previous months. I've now got the majority of sound design complete outside of voice acting and a few more instrumental tracks. The main takeaway of this month is everything is getting really close, like nearly every little system that I need in place is now in place to some degree. My to-do list is getting a lot shorter uh, compared to previous months, and the majority of the work that I still have to do is just more things, so it's more levels, more enemies, more bosses. And that's about it, then it's pretty much ready to ship, and that's super cool. Well, that about wraps it up for this month. Thank you to everyone for watching. I'll see you again next month for another episode of Just Make Games.